Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Nate here, and oh, get beasted, son! Get taken out by the trip mine right there. A martyrdom trip mine. I thought there's no martyrdom in this game, Vaughn. You said there's no death streaks. What the hell, man? But anyway, I really can't complain about trip mines because my last video, I got just about all of my nuclear kills with trip mines and camping with awareness. And this is another nuclear gameplay, guys. Um, but don't worry, it's much, much faster paced. I do camp a little bit towards the end because I do get a little sweaty and I don't want to go on another 25 kill streak and then lose a gunfight and then take the L. But yeah, so I'm using the KN44 here. Pretty much a really trustworthy gun, really reliable. One of the better assault rifles in the game. And it's one of the only normal ones, really. Because you have a bunch of single fire and burst assault rifles. And you have one that shoots really fast. And you have one that shoots really slow. And then you have one that's really weak. And so, like, this is, like, the only normal assault rifle. And there's one of the burst weapons. I pick it up. And I look how bad I suck, dude. I just shoot at this guy. Throw a grenade at the wall. Chase me down the stairs. I suck. This guy's a weird scope. <laughs> I'm gonna blame it on that. And then I suck one more time. I come around to this little head glitch. He goes up, he goes down. He goes up, he goes down, and oh damn, son! Can't keep up with this guy. Uh, but it, yeah, that's nowhere near as bad as Advanced Warfare. Jesus Christ. That whole game was just people jumping up and down. You couldn't hit anyone. And there's a guy with the Shiva over there, and I was pretty worried he was gonna end my streak. I wasn't really trying to go for a nuclear, uh, you know, just like normal. I never really try for nuclears. But then once I get on that 20 gun streak, I, then I start trying. And this guy, he drops a martyrdom grenade. Vaughn, what the hell, man? I thought there was no death streaks in this game. Uh, but yeah, you can see I'm actually using the combat focus specialist ability. And this is just for a challenge, guys. This specialist ability is the worst one in the game by far, in my opinion. Of course, that's my opinion. You could think it's the best one in the game. Maybe it helps you get wraps and motherships and stuff. And I, I never use it. The only reason I'm using it is because I need to get 100 score streaks with the combat focus. And the reason it sucks is because, one, it takes forever to charge up. Specialist abilities are supposed to be really fast. You take something like Vision Pulse or Overdrive. You get that, like, four kills and boom. You got a glitch. Something like that. But when combat focus, you, you have to go on like an eight kill streak for you to get combat focus. And then a lot of the time, you call it in and then you just instantly die. So it's a waste. And then if you don't die, you only get like two kills with combat focus before it runs out. Because it's so fast. It's on this timer and it just goes, pew, oh, you're done. Oh, okay. And if you get one kill, it takes out like half your timer. So it's only really good in domination if you're going to get a capture kill or something. It'll give you a, just a crap ton of points. Um... But yeah, here in Team Deathmatch, I'll never use it. I rarely see anyone use it. I rarely get any of those robbed medals when you kill someone using Combat Focus. And right now, I'm just working the spawns. Nothing nothing too fancy. Using my UAV, Care Package, and Lightning Strike. Because I think I was playing Hardcore before this. Because one of my friends was going for like pistol headshots for Dark Matter. Hardcore sucks. I hate it. I know a lot of people like Hardcore, but it's, it's just not for me. There's a lot of camping, sound whoring, accidental one-shot kills, teammates killing you. But yeah, enough of that, guys. What I run, wanted to talk about was the Awakening DLC that's about to come out. And there was a trailer a few days ago for the Der Eisendrachach, or what, I don't know, I'm not freaking German, I don't know how to pronounce it very well. But you guys know what I'm talking about, the zombies map, and ooh, get beasted, road rage. Um, so yeah, I think that, honestly, the only good part about this DLC is going to be the zombies map. Now, I'm not saying that the multiplayer maps are going to be bad. But here's the thing, the zombies map just looks so amazing, you get all these specialist weapons, you get traps, you get a huge easter egg, you get the original characters back, and it just looks like a blast, you know, it looks like the thing that zombies needed, because zombies had that big ass map, Shadows of Evil, it was really big, complicated, you really had to play it with a friend, um, you know, if you went down on round 10, it was really tough to like get motivation to want to play that map again, just because it took forever to get Pack-a-Punch and everything set up. And it was just really stupid. And then the giant, that was one of the best um, zombies maps of all time. But, you know, it's the, it's the, what, the third time having the giant being in a Call of Duty game. It's pretty old. It was, uh, it's nice to play the giant instead of Shadows of Evil every so often. But it's not really as refreshing as I'd like it to be. So this new map looks like a nice change of pace and something that I think I'm going to need desperately. Because I don't really play zombies as much as I used to back in Black Ops 1 or 2. And the multiplayer maps, they look fine. I mean, Skyjacked is probably the thing I'm most excited for. Um, Splash looks fun, and there's that one training map that they stole from Titanfall with the multiple environments. But, I mean, there's no weapon. 
What the hell? There's no weapon in a Call of Duty DLC? What is this? I thought Activision was all about selling those DLCs. And the easiest way to sell a DLC is with weapons. Or a zombies map in this case. Treyarch is always really good at selling DLCs. Because, you know, people always have the zombies maps to look forward to. But there's no weapon in this game, which is weird, because Treyarch is the one who started it when it comes to Call of Duty. Of course, other games have done it before. They came out with the Peacekeeper in Black Ops 2. That was, it wasn't like a great weapon, but it was one of my favorite of all times. It just, it really felt, uh, felt, it really fit my play style. And I, I really did enjoy that weapon. And I'm kind of sad that they're not bringing anything back, because even like the weird stuff like the Ripper and Maverick from Ghost and all that garbage from Advanced Warfare, that at least it freshened up the game, you know? Because obviously you can see I have Dark Matter here, and I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I do have pretty much a mastery on all the weapons, and it would be nice to get, you know, a nice change of pace um, for something new. I don't, I don't really care what it is. And you can see my Lightning Strike. These guys are kind of sitting back. I don't know if they're pissed at me for kind of camping and beasting on them, but I get a quad feed because they're just chilling on the patio. And then I check my other Lightning Strike just to see where they are, and they're spawning right outside that door. So I get another triple kill, and I was I was thinking about this time that I could get a nuclear, and I usually don't call in kill streaks when I'm trying to go for a nuke, but I saw those guys. There's like three or four guys spawned right outside my door just because of that lightning strike, so I had to use it, and yeah. So, what do you guys think? Do you think that they're gonna add a weapon secretly? Do you think it's gonna be a free weapon? Because that would make sense to me if they came out with a DLC that didn't have a weapon and then they just threw it in a supply drop, kind of like the butterfly knife and brass knuckles and stuff like that. Now, the only problem I have with that is, you know, what if someone gets the weapon and then someone doesn't? Because it is so hard to get anything good from a supply drop. Like, I, I got a butterfly knife after like five trillion supply drops opened. I didn't buy any COD points or anything like that. Um, but I opened so many and then I finally got one and it's like, my friend has a wrench, and that's it. Like, I don't know anyone else who has anything from a supply drop. So, if you were to add a free weapon for everyone, not just Season Pass or DLC owners, um, I would definitely put it in a supply drop and then make it easier to get. You know, maybe like a 1 out of 50 chance. It's still like, you gotta hunt for it, you gotta be excited every time you open a supply drop, but you're eventually gonna get it. Um, unlike Advanced Warfare, where people are spending hundreds of dollars hoping to get, like, that SVG, I don't remember what Sniper was, I don't know, I don't remember. But yeah, I get the nuclear, and the game's ending right here. I think the final score is, like, 40-1, and one. and I did see that they, there might be a, a specialist Easter egg hidden on one of the multiplayer maps, and they're probably going to add a specialist to the game, and I don't know what it would be, but I would definitely like a specialist or weapon, not just the maps, because I feel like that's not really, uh... A good use of money but anyway hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay let me know what you think down in the comments if you're new make sure to subscribe because i don't know how to talk and i'll see you guys on the next one peace